Hello. Okay, I'm here to play Frog Detective 1. <laughs> okay, so this is definitely a different vibe uh, than uh, what was happening last time. Um, there's not a whole lot of speedrun strats for this. Um, it's mostly just play it fast. There's a lot of mashing, and I'm not good at mashing. But, uh... We're just gonna play it anyway, because I really like this game. So, yeah. Yeah, that's Martin over there. Uh, and he's, uh, he's the king of the island. Fro frog detect- Frog detective! He's on the left! It's frog detective! That's him! He's the detective! The fr he's a frog on the left. Okay, you know, I don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, but we're just gonna, um, yeah, I'm not that fast at mashing, so I'll try to explain what's happening in the dialogue, but you should be able to, uh, follow it. There was actually a patch on this game, so originally you could mash way faster, and then it got picked up by, like, Super Hot, I think, and they put out a new patch, and now the mashing is, like, completely different. Um, and it takes, like, the world record's, like, five minutes longer because of it, which is kind of wild. Um, yeah, I'm sorry if it's loud, I don't think we can do, um, anything about the, like, sound of the game, so, sorry about that, but, uh, yeah, so we're just gonna, time's gonna start when you hit, a uh, new game, so, three, two, one, go. Whoa, that sensitivity's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, so we're gonna talk to our supervisor. This is actually the old patch, it looks like, because we're kind of zooming. Yeah, so Martin is, hires a ghost scientist because he, he hears ghosts, and he's like, I need ghost scientists to figure out what's happening. Yeah, summary, there's a ghost, and he says, on the haunted island, and he yells it really loud because that's the title of the game. So we picked up the magnifying glass. Need, we can't see things without it. And we're gonna head to the door. And now we're heading to the island. We're headed to the haunted island. And Grace Bruxner is the one who made the game. And everyone in the speedrun community loves Grace, Bru Grace Bruxner. Now we get to see the intro sequence. Got our magnifying glass. Yeah, the, the, the music is a banger for sure. Yeah, that's the haunted island. It's pretty small. People live here, apparently. Yeah, the main guy lives there. Starring the detective. We got Martin, he's the leader. We got Larry. Mo, <laughs> the mouse, mouse. <laughs> we got Bernie. We got Fresh X. And yeah, no one else gets <laughs> no one else gets caught out. It's <laughs> just the rest. <laughs> Alright, first things first, we're not going to talk to the monkey. He's waving at us and we say, no sir. We're going to go talk to Martin. He's king of the island. And he's king because he went to the island and there was no one else, so he said, I'll be king. And we say, why are you so nervous? He says he hasn't been able to sleep. says he can't calm down we're and we're gonna do a visualization exercise and it's this speech so we're doing the visualization exercise and it worked and he, because it worked now he's calm he's gonna be giving us a piece of the crown and that's it we have all, all these options and we're gonna we're not gonna do any of them and now we're gonna run over here and we're gonna pick up the broom. And we got the broom. So yeah, we calmed him down, did some nice visualization exercise. He said, thank you, here's some pure gold. 
And now we're going to now we're going to the mouse. And he he's nervous because he's really scared of being embarrassing. He doesn't want to be embarrassing. And we're we're going to question him and be like, "Why are you so nervous?" And he's like, "Oh, I'm nervous because of cuz you're a detective." And then we wear him down and we say, "Why are you really?" And he says, "I love Mystery Monkey." Mystery Monkey is uh he's it's like his idol. So now we have to go and we have to ask Mystery Monkey about dance moves. But first, we're gonna go talk to Noodle. <laughs> Noodle's bored, <laughs> which is a little suspicious. But just cause she's been standing by the hole and nothing's been happening. And we really want their wool. And they think that's gross. And so we need the broom to pick up all his wool. And he says it's really weird, but I guess you can have it. And now we're gonna pick up this magnet. Now we're gonna go front like he's waving to no one. <laughs> Cause we sidestepped him in the beginning. And uh, we have a blog and this man is MysteryMonkey49. It's our biggest fan. And we're gonna ask him about what kind of dance moves he likes so that uh, Mo the mouse can, uh, can impress him. And he says, I love break dancing. So now we got a monkey fact. We gotta go back and tell the mouse that we like that he likes break dancing. Now what we're gonna do is this is my favorite is my favorite character right here, everyone. His name's just his name's just Koala. It's nothing else. It's literally just Koala. And he says he says, I'm in the water because Ghost can't swim. That's why he's in the water. But he's not having a good time in the water because he wants a magnet. And the reason why he wants that magnet is because he wants to stick it onto the end of a boat so he can go really fast. <laughs> and so now we're gonna make him happy by giving him a magnet so that he can vibe in the water with the magnet in the hopes of a boat to come by so that we can stick it on and he'll be really fast. So now we got a magnet and we're gonna go talk to this guy. And Orbit is on high alert because he thinks that we're going to step on his small shells. He said, uh, yeah, too small. We say, uh, okay, what shells? There was no shells here. And we're gonna give him big shells. <laughs> So we got we got a we got a magnifying glass from him. Now we're gonna go back to Mo the Mouse and we're gonna tell him that Mystery Monkey loves breakdancing. And he gives us his mouthwash. And now we're gonna take guys, you ready? First, the only speedrun strat of the day. Look at this. Oh, look at that. Oh, that shortcut though. <laughs> and now we're gonna see Fresh X, and we're he's gonna he wants to call us D Tech. And he uses a sh a shipment of toothpaste every three days to keep his smile so fresh. And we're gonna say we want your toothpaste, give it to us. And we're gonna trade him with the mouthwash. <laughs> and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go talk to Bernie. Last thing we need uh, is the pasta. And Bernie said he took the job because he thought it was a cover uh, to be a secret agent. He really wants to be a secret agent. And he says because secret agents get the best stuff and he really wants our magnifying glass. And so we're gonna trade him our magnifying glass for the pasta. And I don't know where he got the pasta. There's no kitchens on the island no houses or anything, yet all these people uh, visited and stayed here for two weeks, kind of kind of wild. 
Now we're gonna talk to Larry. Larry says, I didn't do it, even though we didn't question him. And he says, I did not do it. I don't like being accused like this. But we weren't accusing him. And he says, ask, ask me the questions. And what we learn is Larry said he knows where they're coming from. He knows where the noises are coming from. And he says, uh, I've tried to tell people, but no one would listen to me. And that's because he doesn't talk. And so what we've been doing this entire time is we've been gathering things to make dynamite to blow into the cave. So yeah, so the whole time we've uh, just been gathering things for dynamite. We need the pasta, the gold, the wool, and the toothpaste. And those are the four things that we need to blow a hole to get into the cave to see where the spooky noises are coming from. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna blow up this and uh, yeah, look, we do it and <laughs> knocks us down. <laughs> so we're gonna go in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a spooky cave this is where all the noises were coming from that's where larry said he tried to tell everyone but no one listened to him because he's a really bad listener he doesn't like to listen to anyone so that means no one else listens to him and look who we find someone's just vibing in the cave for two weeks straight it's it's finley finley's not a ghost it's just someone who's pra who was practicing for the dance competition inside the cave for two weeks straight, eating only mushrooms. And she's fine, I guess. Yeah, dancing for two weeks straight. She takes naps, she eats mushrooms, and she's just been practicing for the dance competition the whole time, even though she was blocked in by rocks. And everyone heard her noises coming through the holes, and he thought there were ghosts. Yep, so now we're coming out. We brought Finley, we've solved the mystery, but the game's not over yet. And now we're gonna talk to Martin. We're gonna say, it wasn't a ghost, it was Finley. And he says, uh, what do you mean? These ghost books, these ghost books said that there were ghosts. And now the, the developer comes in and says, it's important to check the validity of your sources. Sometimes the internet might not be right. Sometimes the books may not be right. And he says, no, no smiley face. Books have no place in our society. You know, education is very important for children. You know, sources, uh, you always gotta double check your sources. And he said, thanks for solving the mystery. And uh, it's, time to, it's time for the dance competition, everyone. And now we're just vibing. This is definitely the new, the uh, old patch, because there's uh, some differences in, um, like, uh, the, I could mash faster, and there was some, there's some, um, uh, dialogue differences as well. But yeah, thanks, thanks for playing, special thanks, and now we get to roll credits, but, you know, time doesn't stop yet. We got, we still got the best part of, uh, still got the best part of the run coming up, guys. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna watch the uh, we're gonna watch the credits go through. Everyone's just vibing in the background. <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm a big fan of Martin's moves. He's kind of getting down back there. <laughs> Mo said he would do break dancing, but you know, it looks like uh, it looks like uh, Bernie's getting down with break dancing back there. <laughs> Martin says, all right, we're done practicing. And then we said, who's gonna judge us? And we said, I'll do it. We can't dialogue skip this section. Yeah, and so now what we do is we watch all the contestants. This is the competition, everyone. So take note of who you think did the best and we get to pick. So I, I think the koala kind of gets down. He's still got his magnet, it's really important to him. Finley, eh, kind of boring. You know, it's whatever, nothing special. Uh, yeah, this is Bernie. He's just, you know, I, it's fine. It's not doing great, but it's okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Now, I, man, I'm a big Martin fan. Look at him go. <laughs> Look at him go. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. And then I, 
And then Mystery, Mystery Monkey kind of gets down also. It's a tie bit for me between Mystery Monkey and Martin. And here's Larry, not too bad. He got something special about him. <laughs> and he's supposed to be doing breakdancing, but you know, imagine if he whipped out breakdancing right here. He easily would have taken the cake, but he didn't. And here's Noodle, nothing special, nothing too bad. <laughs> and look at us, we get down also, look at us go. Dang, oh snap, who is he? <laughs> <laughs> and now, uh, now we get to now we get to pick who we thought did the best. Um, I'm gonna pick Martin. You should pick Larry because he's the fastest. Because that's where your mouse shows up. But I like Martin. And now, uh, now we're now we wave and we're leaving the island. They all stay. We don't know what they do. Do they leave? Do they stay? Where do they sleep? Where do they eat? What do they eat? It's just a small island, but you know, it's okay. Everything's fine, we don't think about it. <laughs> Each other? I don't know about that, bud. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> mushrooms, yeah, that's what Finley ate apparently was mushrooms. So now, uh, now we, uh, now we're done, and uh, and we're gonna we're gonna talk to our supervisor again. We're gonna say we did it. Good job. Better than Lobster Cop, which is kind of crazy because apparently Lobster Cop, the greatest greatest detective of all time, and they set up the Frog Detective too, and that was that was the end. That was that was time. It says the detective will return in Frog Detective 2, baby. Case of the Invisible Wizard. 